Please open your learning workbook to page 217, and we're going to solve some Alex problems. They are all exponential type 2. As a brief reminder, exponential type 2 is of the form base raised to exponent equals base, and sometimes there is also a second exponent, but that is not required. But what is required is that these two values right here, these bases, are not powers of the same variable. For example, this problem, 12 and 2 are not powers of the same value. You cannot write 12 as 2 to some number. All right, so this is a type 2 problem, and we're going to solve for y. Let's read the directions. Solve for y in the equation below. Round to the nearest 100. Do not round any intermediate computations. Okay, what that means is that you are not permitted to round your answer at any point in the middle of the problem while you are solving the problem. You can only round your answer once you get to the very end. So, no decimal approximations for anything in the problem until you get to the very end of the problem. All right, so we're going to solve this. This is already in the correct form. Base raised to exponent equals value. Base raised to exponent equals value. So, we have an important decision to make. Are we going to take the logarithm base 12 of both sides, because that's what my base is? Or are we going to use another log base, like 10 or e? To make that decision, you have to look in the instructions for the problem. If the instructions say that you were looking for a decimal approximation, and notice that this says to round to the nearest hundredth, then you must choose base 10 or base e, because you're going to need your calculator. So we need to choose base 10 or base e. Let's choose base 10, because in the next two problems, we're going to choose base e. Okay, base 10. So we're going to say that this is the same thing as log of 12 to the y minus 8 equals log of 2. Notice that I am not choosing to write my base of 10. The base of 10 is implied by the absence of a number. Okay, so now I'm going to take this and I'm going to move it to the front of the log so that I get a y minus 8 in parentheses times the log of 12 equals the log of 2. Okay, the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, divide both sides by the log of 12. So here, log of 12. Here, log of 12. And this is going to give me y minus 8 equals log of 2 divided by log of 12. Now, adding 8 on both sides gives me the final answer, y equals log of 2 divided by log of 12 plus 8. I have achieved the goal. I have solved this for y. Now we put it in our calculators. All right, so I'm going to make a fraction here. I'm using the multi-view calculator. So n over d makes a fraction. In the numerator, I'll put log of 2, close parentheses, down arrow. In the denominator, I will put log of 12, close parentheses, right arrow. And then plus 8 equals. And I get the value 8.278942946. They want it rounded to the nearest hundredth, and so I round this and I get approximately 8.28. So my final answer for this problem is 8.28. Notice that I did not round until the very end. I did not round until I had a final exact answer. Then I picked up my calculator to get a decimal approximation.